to a paper spiral. So here we teach you how to make a spinning top of my own design. It may not look like a spinning top, but it's actually a three-in-one model. And you'll get more on that in the end. By the way, this you may see on the thumbnail, but this is a very... This might not be what you think. It's going to look a lot like a coaster. But you'd be surprised. It spins pretty well. So, start white setting up. I'm using a green sheet of paper. It's not actually dark green. It's more of a different green. I just don't have great lighting. Okay, start by folding in half, edge to edge. And do not fold in half in the other directions. By the way, I meant to tell you this earlier. White side up, if you want if you want it to be, if you want, you want the bottom to be the color, and color side up, if you want the, the spin top to be colored. It's a color, it's not really a color change model, but if it's, the coaster is color on one side, color on, and another color on the other. It's pretty cool. So now, fold the edges parallel, which means they, if they are this, in the same direction, or they are the same line as the middle, so take the two edges that are parallel with it, and fold them to the middle. Okay, and rotate 180 degrees and repeat. Now, we're gonna rotate 90 degrees so that it's like this. It's that so it's folded. Sorry, what am I saying? Um, so it's um, so it's vertical. Then fold the bottom edge to the top edge. This is a pretty simple model. I'd recommend it for slight beginners. I'd say you have to know how to make, let's say, I think you need to know how to make like a, a crane or something to make this. And maybe a bit more. You'll need at least three quarters of a year of experience. And you need to have a bit of an, an, a bit of an experience with slight collapses. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold the bottom edge to both edges. By that, I'm gonna fold it to one at a time. Oh, by the way, I meant to tell you, but soon I'll be making a tutorial for a new model I recently designed called Kusanami Niko, or Sunlight in Japanese. I designed it, it's my, probably the first, it's the first Kusanami I ever designed, and I'm pretty proud, but I got to get the, get work on it a bit pretty hard um, before I make a tutorial. Anywho, okay, so, oops, that doesn't look good. Then unfold so that there's an X, rotate 180 degrees, and repeat. Oops, can't let it rip. I'd recommend, by the way, I'd recommend using, if you want a good size spinning top, a six inch square of kami. But I'm use, to show it easier, I'm using a nine and a half inch square of kami. I get it on most of my papers at either Origami Shop or Amazon. Then, open it up. And here comes a bit of a tricky step. Turn over. And I'm gonna um, try to move my camera a bit. That didn't really work, but I'll try to show it the best I can. You're gonna go along. Oh, let me make sure my cam my computer doesn't turn off. You're gonna go from each side where the X intersection. We're gonna go dab that to the edge, make that a mountain fold. Repeat on the other sides. Some that it might be a valley fold on some, and you want to make sure that it is accurate and it's a mountain fold. That's very important. You're gonna see this diamonds popping out. This, yeah, this rhombus or a square if you look at it differently. Now you're gonna push in the middle, and you're gonna push so that right here and right here, and then basically fold the diamonds in half. See, it's not that bad. And fold it and. Lower your um, paper. And then you're gonna take your time to even it out. Mm -hmm. 
then it's gonna look like this. Now you're gonna fold this flap, this really wide flap, down, turn over, and fold this flap down. So you have a bit of an overlap in here. I think I made that word up, but that's not the point. Now, it's, and you can see it look like this. As you can tell, it's color on one side and white on the other. Now, you're gonna fold, you're gonna take, take this corner, only the first layer, and fold it behind into the pocket, and repeat with, this, with the rest of the layers. We're gonna do that all the way around. And as, and don't worry, this is not the end of it. It's not gonna spin or it's not, and it's not gonna lock in place like this. I think you're gonna, I think you're gonna find this model pretty satisfying to fold, like how it all locks together. So, as you can tell, it's not locked. But now, what we're gonna do, is we're gonna fold all of these corners to the center. The center of all, the, where all it happens all the layers so it's gonna get pretty thick sorry about that it's gonna get like i said it's gonna get pretty really thick and this is about the time where it might start ripping so be careful okay then unfold and now you're gonna make the top layer a mountain fold or you can open it up whatever's easier and then this just go along the other crease Then, you're gonna rotate 90 degrees and repeat. This time you can't open it up though, because not a, because it, you already made a, made a pocket. Not just to be, you're tucking it in, not tucking behind. There's a difference between tucking it in and tucking it behind. So now rotate 90 degrees again and repeat. Sketchy. Then fold it here. Now we're into the final step, which is, let me make sure this isn't too long, which is doing the last one, and this time it's uh, tucking in, and this will lock it together. And now, we're just going to even it out a bit, kind of, you know, work on it. Kind of finish it up, refine it, refurbish it, I don't know what the word for it is, but and work on making it look a bit more perfected. I'm not a perfectionist, but I like to go for a good origami. So now I'm gonna explain the three by two in one part of it. So it depends which one side you want to do. I prefer spinning on the white side up if I because it's it spins better and you're basically gonna kind of like a fortune teller. You're gonna put your hand fingers in the pockets and spin. It actually spins pretty well. It's probably the coolest action model I've designed besides the squ spring, squish and spin. Yeah, I don't have a very big desk space, but to show, to show you in. I'm gonna work on this a bit. And then the two, second part of it is it's a coaster. You, I don't have a water bottle right now, but you can put in a water bottle on it. I don't know, maybe I'll put my crochet on it. I don't know. <laughs> then the last part is it's a flicker or a frisbee. Here, um, let me try to show you. Ah, whoa. Let's see if I can show this the right way. Whoa. Let me show that better, one sec. Now I'm gonna show you how to throw it. Flies pretty well, right? Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time. Make sure to, um, I hope you really liked it and I'll be, and like the video if you want more action models in the future. Bye.